Hello, my name is Gabriel from Dabak USA. In this video, I'm going to teach you about how to troubleshoot a RAM. So in this case, this is the title, Troubleshooting RAM. So in this case, we are going to continue with the class how to become a computer technician. So if you didn't see any of the prior videos, I recommend you to start from the beginning. So that way you will understand everything that I'm going to teach you right now. So as usual, if you want to buy my classes, you can go to gabakusa.com. So now, uh, we we are going to talk about some of the problems that you're going to see on the computers so sometimes maybe you just start the windows and you see like a blue screen, a blue screen update or maybe you have a mac and then you see some kind of relation saying okay the computer had to reboot or maybe you have uh, Linux and then you see maybe a kernel error or something like that so here I'm going to explain you everything that I have on the whiteboard so that way you're going to understand so here we're going to see we have two types of errors we have the real error the real parity and the phantom parity so basically the real parity is when you have some kind of issue with the ram for instance the memory controller in this case is detecting that the ecc or the parity of the memory is creating some error or something like that so once it detects that it will display on windows and windows will show you maybe some blue screen of death or sometimes you're going to see when the computer boots up you, you will see error in x slot or whatever and it will tell you okay there is an error with the memory you have to replace it and you you, you and my, i mean if you see that uh, that error that is easy you just um, uh, take apart the computer and you just replay the, the bad RAM and then you have the other can if you don't have parity on your memories or you don't have ECC the, you may have some kind of phantom parity so in this case Windows will try to detect some uh, the, the errors that the memory may have or not it, it may be an error or from the memory stick or it may be something else with Windows so in this case like I wrote here in this case in system with no parity or no ECC also if you have some kind of trouble also it may be a software virus or heat or something else sometimes the the power supply is not good enough and you're making you're going to have some kind of glitch on the system i've seen that before that is why i recommend always to prevent a, any weird thing on your computer to have a ups or ba a, a battery backup so with those there is one brand that is called apc so apc is is very good i'll try to leave a picture here and usually those will protect you from any search uh, also it, it will protect you from any fluctuation in the electric in the electricity so now i'm going to talk about uh, the the errors that you may have you may have ecc errors system lockups page uh, faults and, and others that something else might might be so usually when you have a windows i mean when you have the blue screen of death you're going to see some kind of parity error like that so it would be like a hex number so hexadecimal number and um, that it will mean something it might be some address on the ram if that is the case usually when you, you reboot the computer you will see always the same number if the number is changing like maybe now you have one number and then you reboot or maybe you have some another error and then you get another number it might be something else like i said before i've seen in, in the past where you are getting even blue screen of death it might be a problem with the driver maybe your computer was working fine and then you just update the video card driver or the sound card or something else and, and then it start producing some kind of errors also if you have a virus that, that might be uh, possible as, as well also if, maybe if you plug in some weird uh, accessory on, on the usb or something like that that is faulty so when you have all this kind of, of problem what i recommend first of all is try to check the the computer with the mem test so if you have a computer that it has many uh, many sticks so you can do is just remove them all 
of course you have to re uh, clean the whole computer and then you check with the mem test i have another video about that also if you want if you can buy the class the um, the whole class on my website so that way you are going to get all my videos um so when you check the the memory what you can do is remove remove them all and then with mem test check one by one one by one and you that way you make sure that everything is fine and then after that you can check them with, with all the memories uh, is inserted on the on the computer so after you do that uh, and you you think that everything is okay okay you may try to install a new hard drive and then install the whole operating system if the operating system works fine that that is great you don't have to do any anything else maybe you have to go to the other computer try to copy everything because maybe you have some problem like I said with drivers or virus or something like that another thing that I recommend to check that I've seen it also is that maybe the hard drive has some bad sectors so if the hard drive has some bad sectors just replace it with a new one and that you will be okay I have videos about that as well also remember to check the motherboard so usually what I, the first thing I, I do when I fix a computer is I take the the side this the side panel and then i clean it all so once i i have oh, oh i mean all the computer is very clean and i don't have any dust or something like that so i i, I try to inspect all the capacitors and if the capacitors are in, in great shape so that is good if the if the motherboard has some few bad capacitors uh, i recommend to replace it all so, and you put a new a new one or try to put the, the same one if you can get the same model that is great so that way you don't have to reinstall windows or if you have a, a, a operating system with an old software and maybe the owner doesn't have the 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 software to install everything again uh, or he cannot get it or something like that what you can do is you can try to you can take it apart you can replace the the capacitor that are bad and put it back and hopefully that will solve the issue otherwise a uh, new computer or new motherboard so that is the the basic another thing that you can do like i, I mentioned in, a, in my other video is you can uh, clean the the contacts if you think that 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 may solve the issue because sometimes you go to the customer and the customer has some kind of old computer and you don't have the ram or something and you detect the some error with the mem test you can try to clean the the contacts sometimes it helps uh it will not help but i seen computers for instance in the restaurant when they they have all the all the con the components inside are very greasy and other things so sometimes it's just a very good cleaning that that will solve the the issue so basically uh this is all the the kind of problem that you may find uh, also uh, if you see this kind of errors i'm going to add in a picture here what you can do is you can try to uh, take it uh, write down the um, the error and then you can google it and that way you can see maybe it's a problem with the google will say oh it's a problem with the sound car it's a, it's a driver issue maybe you can uninstall the driver reinstall it or do something like that or it might be just a ram like i said or problem with the heat or maybe problem with the video car that is is faulty or doing some weird things so what i recommend usually is unplug everything and try to with the basics and see how it goes um, and basically uh, that's it there is not much uh, at least at, at this point of the class that, that, you, that you can do so for so now we are going to recap basically check the motherboard no bad capacitor check it with the, the, mem the memory with mem test if something goes uh, wrong you can just with the i mean with the computer that is no put it up properly or something like that try to install a new operating system in a new hard drive so that way you don't touch the customer data information and you try to install everything and if everything works fine you know that it's a problem with the software and take notes of, of the error and um, basically that is all for this class i hope you have enjoyed remember if you want to see more videos about this you can go to the playlist so that way you can start from the beginning or you can buy it from my website 
gaugusa.com. Remember, click the subscribe and the bell, and that way, every time I upload a video, YouTube will let you know. Thank you for everything, and see you next time. Bye.